Hi, in today's video I'm going to teach you how to use inversion after negative adverbials such as not only, no sooner, seldom. The video consists of following chapters. At the end of each chapter there's a short exercise. Inversion means inverting or changing the normal word order in a sentence. For example, I can read. Can I read? As you can see, by inverting the subject I and the modal verb can, I made a question. Question word order is a very common example of inversion. Another type of inversion is inversion after negative adverbials, which is what you're going to learn in this video. However, before we start, I have to make sure that you know how to make a question form of the main verb, because we're going to do that a lot. So let's do a short exercise. Change the statements into questions. Let's start with never, rarely, seldom. These are often used with present perfect or past perfect, or with models such as can or could. Let's have a look at this sentence. I have never seen so many sad people. As you can see, it's a normal sentence with normal word order. But what if I want to start the sentence with never? Well, in that case, I have to use inversion. Because when we start sentences or clauses with negative adverbials, such as never, we have to use inversion. Never have I seen so many sad people. Pay attention to have I seen. It looks like a question, yes, but the whole thing, never have I seen so many sad people, is a statement. It is incorrect to say never... I have seen so many people, so many sad people. Here's another example. We had never witnessed such an influx of immigrants. The correct way to invert it is never had we witnessed such an influx of immigrants. It is incorrect to say never we had witnessed such an influx of immigrants. And here are some more examples. She has never seemed so happy. Never has she seemed so happy. We have rarely spoken to each other. Rarely have we spoken to each other. One can seldom appreciate what one has. Seldom can one appreciate what one has. Choose the correct sentence. Moving on to little. We use little a lot when talking about the past. For example, I didn't know what was going to happen. 
little did I know what was going to happen. As you can say, little means I didn't really know, I had no idea, I had no clue. We can also use it in the present. They don't realize how lucky they are. Little do they realize how lucky they are. Choose the correct sentence. We can use hardly, barely, scarcely and no sooner to talk about an event which quickly follows another in the past. Hardly, barely and scarcely are usually used with past perfect and are followed by when. No sooner is usually used with past perfect, but it can also be used with past simple. It is followed by then. Here are some examples. Just after I left the bank, there was a robbery. Hardly had I left the bank when there was a robbery. Just after we arrived at the hotel, we were informed we had to leave. Barely had we arrived at the hotel when we were informed we had to leave. He had scarcely got off the train when someone stole his suitcase. Scarcely had he got off the train when someone stole his suitcase. He had no sooner found gold than he realized it was false gold. No sooner had he found gold than he realized it was false gold. Choose the correct option. We can use only with after, only after, if and when, only if, only when, or then, only then. Here are some examples. I realized he was the murderer after I talked to him. Only after I talked to him did I realize he was the murderer. I can only relax when I'm alone. Only when I'm alone can I relax. She only started talking to me then. Only then did she start talking to me. Choose the correct option. In the final part of this video, I'm going to talk about phrases containing no and not. These phrases include under no circumstances, on no condition, in no way, not until and not only but also. 
Here are some examples. You are not allowed to open the door under any circumstances. Under no circumstances are you allowed to open the door. I won't do that on any condition. On no condition will I do that. It wasn't her mother's fault in any way. In no way was it her mother's fault. I didn't realise how nice she was until I talked to her. Not until I talked to her did I realise how nice she was. You were not only rude, but you didn't say sorry either. Not only were you rude, but you didn't even say sorry. Choose the correct sentence. If you need more exercises to practice using inversion after negative adverbials, click here. Give this video a like if you enjoyed it and subscribe to my channel to be up to date with my English lessons. Have a great day and I'll see you next time. Bye!